Hello, welcome back to Zebra Force. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Addictive Drums 2 with Ableton Live and separate the channels so you have a kick, a snare, a tom, whatever you want, right? It is worth noting that you can only do this in the VST mode. So if you're running Addictive Drums as a standalone software, this process would be totally different. So we have it open as a VST on a MIDI track here. If we go down to this fader section, we click this little arrow, hit uh, whatever option you want, separate out pre-fader, meaning it comes out of Addictive Drums before it hits all of this processing, uh, separate out pre-fader and master, post-fader after this processing, and of course, post-fader and master. I'm gonna do post fader and master on the kick and the snare, and then we're not done. That's not all you have to do. Now we have to open up a simple audio track and click this drop down and go to uh, whatever the MIDI channel is titled. For me, it's called Addictive, and we're still not done. Then, second drop down menu, we gotta click the kick channel, and now. If we set this monitor to in and play something out of Addictive Drums, now you'll see the kick is coming out right here. So now you can process the kicks independently from Addictive Drums too. Hope that helped. See you tomorrow.